Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Benjamin Franklin said that, and that is a quote that I abide by. I'm here to talk about life and the NBA, the Judicious Balancing Act. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. I was about to board a plane to the United States to pursue my MS over there in computer science because I had finished my graduation in computer science and engineering. But then something told me that my destiny lay in India. And so I decided to pursue the MBA program at IIM Amritsar. I am in the second trimester of the program right now. But at the beginning, little did I know about how taxing the program was going to be in the long run. On the first day, I got a taste of it when I got a ton of emails on the very first day regarding case discussions, regarding projects, regarding club and committee selections, regarding just about everything else you could think of. A ton of emails on the first day. So that gives you an idea about what's going to come next. Now, I didn't think much of it back then, but then as time progressed, I realized that I was missing out on practically everything else because of my MBA program. I was spending less time with my family, I was spending less time on myself, my hobbies had gone down the, down the drain. And so I thought, okay, maybe this is an issue just with me. Other people might not be facing it. But then when I connected with other people, my seniors from other colleges, my batchmates, I got a sense that, okay, this is something everybody is racing from. This is something that's, that's troubling a lot of people. They're not able to spend time on themselves because their MBA t- is taking up all of their time. And so I did a bit of research. I consulted some of my seniors who had passed out, who had graduated. And I asked them, okay, how do you do this? How do you balance these things out? How do you carry them both forward and be best at both of them? And so I did some research on the internet too. And so I made your job easier. I have with me five tips. A list of five tips that can help you take back your time, that can help you prioritize your time better, that can help you spend more time on yourself, that can help you interact better with your family and friends, all while doing an MBA. Sounds too good to be true? Not really. Let's get to it. Number one item on the list is time management. Now think about what would happen if we were to prioritize the tasks that we have to do on an everyday basis. If we were to put a sense of precedence in these tasks. If we just got to know that one thing comes before the other, we would be able to rank them and prioritize them better, thereby enabling a sense of flow between the tasks every day, which would make your day a breeze at the end. Trust me on this. So that's one thing you could do. Write down your tasks, rank them, prioritize them, do them in that order. That will help you out. Number two item on the list, minimize wastage of time. Now, when you're doing a program as rigorous as an MBA, it's obvious that you'll have to make a lot of sacrifices along the way. If there are a bunch of things that you need not do during the daytime, push them to the weekend. If, if, it's, if it's something pleasurable, delay the pleasure. If it's your favorite season of your favorite series that you want to watch, weekend. The game that you've always wanted to play, once again, the weekend. This will make sure that your time goes exactly where you want it to go. And it will help you in the long run. You'll be amazed by the amount of time that you save at the end of each day because of this. Number three item on the list, dust up your hobby. Now, one thing this personally worked for me is that I used to sing, I used to write, I used to do a lot of workouts. Now, I noticed the decline in all of these activities as soon as my MBA program started. Now, one thing that I did was I decided to pick up where I left off and um, I decided to dust up my hobby. And I could observe that aside from the clarity of thought that doing that spending time on my hobbies gives me, it's a way to blow off some steam. It's a stress buster. And at the same time, it's productive too in another way. So that's something that will definitely help you out in case you've got a hobby. Number four item on the list, spend more time with your friends and family. Now this is something that I'm really worried about because when the world is achieving rapid digitization at the rate at which we see today, when people are stuck on their phones, on their laptops, getting out there and interacting better with your friends and family, especially during lockdown such as this, So that will definitely bring you back to earth and uh, you'll become more lively, you'll be much more at ease, you'll feel good uh, communicating with others and you'll also have a sense of fulfillment because you know that you didn't spend time, you didn't while away time scrolling on something. That's number four. Number five item on the list is very, very important and that is to stay healthy. When we're all sitting like this in front of our laptops and attending classes, there is minimal movement involved. There's minimum physical exercise every day. Now, this is a widespread problem, but the solution is so simple. Spend half an hour daily doing any kind of physical activity that that you may choose. Whether it be going out for a walk, going out for a jog, skipping, hardcore exercise, aerobics, dancing even, 
you do that because aside from getting that physical exercise, it de-stresses you, it cleanses your mind, and it gets you prepped for the next day onward. There is a sense of there is a sense of fulfillment at the end of the workout that will really really help you out. So these were my five tips, and I'm sure that if you were to incorporate these tips into your life. Although you may not see changes spontaneously, and it is quite hard to inculcate a habit, I understand. But give it one week, and trust me on this, and you will see that you can take time, take your time back into your hands, and that's what makes all the difference. And as managers, this this is of epic importance to us because time management is essentially what we do at the end of the day. Um, at the end, I would like to thank the team Money. For giving me this opportunity to speak out to you all, it's been it's been a wonderful opportunity to, to speak out on something that has really, really helped me out. And I think uh, since this is a widespread issue these days with, with my friends, with uh, a lot of people I know doing their MBA and not able to uh, spend time on themselves, I'm sure that these tips will help you in the long run. Uh, thank you so much, Team Bonnie, once again. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.